Once a week, Rena Shinohara heads off to work, clocking in for a shift at the Ichiwan Nursing Home for a job you could say she was born to do. Rena is one of the home's baby workers, a pint-sized team of professionals hired to spend time with elderly residents. Being cute is a full-time occupation here, the task to make the days a little brighter. It energizes me to see them, so this really helps me, says Tutsuo Ojiro, who's 93. His own grandkids don't come around much anymore. The idea of hiring babies came about after the nursing home's director brought her own granddaughter to work. It's when I saw the elderly people smile, I realized the power possessed by infants, says Kimigondo. So she advertised for recruits, Hi. up to three years old, who can't yet speak well to keep conversations simple. Requirements are pretty loose. Babies work when they want to and stroll around with a parent. She gets to interact with grandmothers and grandfathers, says Rena's mother. It's funny, I'm not working, but she has a job. Rina, do you like your job? Yeah. <laughs> the patter of little feet around wheelchairs and walkers here is meant to ease the isolation that often comes with growing old. It's especially acute in Japan, where a third of the population is over age 65. Last year, the government even created a ministry of loneliness to help get reclusive people out, especially after the pandemic. They should be able to interact with people of all ages, she says. It's only natural. There are now 70 baby workers on staff here, giggling for 100 residents, making the home more of a hub. When they come, they're so cute, she says. Being a baby worker isn't always easy, though. And there's mandatory retirement before preschool. But it comes with a salary of diapers and ice cream and a rich payoff for residents, too. Being adorable is one thing, but the fact that the baby workers can't yet speak is important. The nursing home's director explained it this way, that as most elderly residents age, it becomes harder for them to speak and to express their emotions. So nonverbal communication, the stuff that babies are great at, the hugs, the giggles, the toddler chaos, it can go a lot further than words in really giving people something to smile about. That's a great idea. Yeah. Great. That's a universal language. Win-win yeah. yeah. for both. The kid gets ice cream. The yeah. right. boys get the get sunshine of children. Of yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. We should bring that to the States. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Thank you, Janice. Right. Thanks, Janice. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.